10, thoracic vertebrae 12, T12, Gilgal. T12 is the place where the solar plexus meets the spinal cord via the semilunar ganglion. It is also the point where the spinal cord tapers off into Sodom and Gomorrah. At this junction, the higher forces raise a portion of the seed up the spinal cord by what Percival calls automatic reclamation. And the lower forces pull the seed down to the fish gate, which leads to the genitals, where there's an opportunity for voluntary reclamation. Biblically, this location is known as Gilgal, a very significant place. Gilgal is the place where Elisha neutralized poison. Gilgal is also the place where Elijah was taken up in a chariot of fire. Gilgal, a circle or rolling away, the place where the 12 stones were set up, refers to, in anatomy to the 12th thoracic vertebra, at which place the semilunar ganglion connects. At this point, the seed or arc enters Jordan or the spinal cord. T12 marks the center of the human organism. The metaphysical dictionary tells us that Gilgal means whirlwind. The whirlwind is the DNA double helix, which is formed by the sacred geometry of the ratcheting dodecahedron in the pre-existent invisible realm. This is why the dodecahedron is considered the ascension vehicle. DNA is the master of transformation. As proven by epigenetics, our thoughts can rewrite our genetic DNA codes. The DNA double helix looks like two entwined serpents winding up as the dodecahedron turns. Each side of the dodecahedral structure is a pentagon. The formation of DNA is often described as a spiral staircase or ladder. The vertical sides of the DNA ladder are essentially phosphorus. The horizontal rungs of the DNA ladder are essentially nitrogen. We'll learn more about nitrogen and phosphorus and their role in the great regeneration later. For now, it will suffice to say that both are integral to DNA and stem cell production. Not to mention DNA resides in the nucleus of every stem cell, along with the nucleoli. Since DNA is the very fabric or program for life, it's as though the ancient masters believed that our bodies are animated from this central point, T12. Let's take a pit stop to look at some facts about DNA. Under a microscope, the cross-section of DNA reveals the seed of life. In the book of Revelation, chapter 19, 13 to 14, God is described as being clothed in a fabric dipped in blood. Fabric symbolizes DNA chromosomes. So in other words, scripture is telling us that God or light is in DNA, which is present in every cell of the body. Thus, the life of the flesh, DNA, truly is 
in the blood, Leviticus 17.11. The cells of all living beings shine their light, electromagnetic energy, and DNA is the source of this light. When the photon light radiated from DNA is absorbed by the body, it forms nitric oxide. DNA is the molecule of life, the genetic information of all species is being encoded by the nitrogen bases in DNA. This is the universal language of four letters, C-T-A-G. Every cell in the world contains DNA and every cell is filled with salt water. In many cultures, it is a spiritual belief that salty ocean water is the essence of all life. The concentration of salt, minerals, inside cells is similar to that of the worldwide ocean. DNA is literally bathed in seawater, which plays an important part in establishing DNA's double helix structure. DNA's twisted ladder shape is a direct consequence of the cell's watery environment. DNA goes together with water just like mythical serpents do. Before we get back to the organ by organ account, we must consider the magic of water. Water emits photon light and is an electromagnetic dipole, meaning that it's both positively charged and negatively charged. So, the lymphatic water system is electromagnetic. It is our light energy body. The lymph system is called the white blood system in many cultures. The lymph system is the gateway for communication between blood, CSF, nerve or interstitial fluid, sexual vital fluids and lymph fluid. The lymph system is the oxygen delivery and purification system at the cellular level. Everything in the body is made of cells. All generation and degeneration of the body happens at the cellular level. The lymphatic system maintains the health of the entire cellular terrain its movement is upwards towards the neck against the force of gravity. Our bodies are 72% water and the lymphatic system is the most extensive system in our body. When the lymph system is compromised, there will be a change in the body's pH. PH stands for potential hydrogen, which basically refers to the number of electrons available. As stated earlier, literally everything that we think, feel and are exposed to creates imprints on our lymph water body. The laws of the universe are written in water. The golden ratio is found in molecules of meltwater. In meltwater, the angle between hydrogen atoms is 108 degrees, and the ratio of the length of hydrogen ties is 0 0.618. This is a special state of water. In melting from its frozen state, water deletes all information from its memory, retaining only one program, the program for life. 
everything in nature's perfection has been created in accordance with the program for life, the golden ratio. Remember, many cultures believe that water is the essence of all life. Even the Bible book of Genesis insinuates that water is pre-existent. The creator transmitted the program of life to every living creature through water. This is why the lymphatic system and our body's pH level, acid to alkaline, is so important. Acid is devoid of free electrons. Alkali is full of electrons. So our body should be slightly alkaline. Electrons are teeny tiny magnets holding the cells of the body together maintaining life and slowing degeneration. Having highlighted the power of water as literally the catalyst for life and health, we can get back to the organ by organ account. 